Hey, this is Dennis. It's Tuesday. I want to get back in our Bible study. We're in the book of Acts, chapter 13. We're going to start with verse 1. Now, there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simon, that was called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, and Manani, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, <clears throat> Now to me, this is really unique in the Bible. How many times you have you ever read or heard where the Holy Ghost said? So here's the Holy Ghost talking. And the Holy Ghost said, Separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost departed unto Seleucia, and from thence they sailed to the island of Cyprus, <laughs> and when they were at <coughs> Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had also John to their minister. And when they had gone through the isle unto Pappas, found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, and a Jew. So he, this guy was all three of them. He was a sorcerer, a false prophet, and Jew, whose name was Bar-Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But Elamus, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. He was wanting to prevent this guy from hearing the word of God and from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him, set his eyes on that sorcerer guy, and said, O oh, fool of a subtility and all mischief thou, ch thou child of the devil he called paul calls this guy the child of the devil thou enemy of all righteousness wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the lord and now behold the hand of the lord is upon thee thou shalt be blind not seeing the sun for a season and immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeking some to lead him by his hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, became a believer, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. God bless y'all. Walk with God one day at a time. Bye-bye.